first play I'm going to show you might be the most difficult to install, but it's actually pretty simple to do because the other ones are really, really simple to install. This is a sprint out throwback screen. And all we're going to do right now, I don't want you to get, get all lost. It's like, oh, we've got a whiteboard. This doesn't really look like a real technologically, technologically advanced uh, video, but we're going to show you some great video over and over of this play. But I want to draw it up for you and talk about some of the coaching points uh, while we're doing it. It's pretty simple. You can either uh, start with, and I put a defense up here, a three front defense, a three four uh, quarters or, or halves or whatever you want to look at, but I put a three front because that's the hardest to screen. An extra lineman makes it a little easier to screen, so this makes it harder, and that's what we see most of the time, so I want to, I want to do that. First thing you want to do is, is know what your receivers do. If we go screen to a side, okay, we have our inside receiver will run a crossing route to the middle linebacker. Uh, to his side. So so if we're going to roll to the right, we're going to sprint to the right, then he's going to run a crossing route. And the reason we say run a crossing, it's important for him to push off like he's running a route to get this linebacker to hesitate and hold right there and think that he's actually going to run downfield or run a crossing, maybe even step in. So when our linemen come out, we've already got leverage on him built in. Uh, screen, the, the screen's going to go to this side. Then this guy, the outside receiver, always runs a post and then goes to safety and blocks him. So we know we're going to be sprinting away, okay? And so he's going to run a crossing route to the middle linebacker. He's going to run a post to this play side safety. Now you can do one of two things. You can do a bad play action fake right there, which I don't prefer to do because I don't want these linebackers coming downhill. You can do a bad play action fake and then we take it and we run him out, and when the guard pass sets, we're sprinting out. So when he pass sets that way, we're going to sit behind him and wait till he pass sets and then come straight down the line. And then our tackle is going to also pass set on a sprint out away, and then he's going to come straight down the line also, and he is looking for number one threat of the corner, who probably on the post has backed off or rolled that, that opposite way as our quarterback rolls out. Play side right here, we're going to run a real pass route, a real combo route out here. Okay, to go ahead and get, we got sprint out this way, get the safety roll over the way. We're blocking those guys without blocking them, without taking a chance on blocking the back, clips, anything like that. But a, a key point here is our quarterback, we want almost a 45 degree angle. If he comes too flat, if he comes too flat, these guys are really sprint out blocking to this side and they're, they're doing their job like it's a true sprint out pass play. But if he comes too flat, we don't want any penetration to mess him up. It changes the angle of the throw. If he goes too deep uh, but doesn't get out far enough, it doesn't help us with the linebacker flow and give our, give our lineman an angle or it's a leverage. So I like a 45 degree angle, stop and plant, and then we're going to throw back. So the tailback goes in front of the quarterback hesitates, waits for that guard to leave, and runs out and hides behind him. And then we throw back right there. Normally what you'll get, you'll see on video over and over, we'll show you this play several times. You'll see him release, you'll see this linebacker either take a step back, thinking he's running something uh, vertical in the middle. He sees him go in, he'll either step in, he'll see the screen and come out. By that time, we've got our tackle out in the lead, and he will peel back if that guy's on top of him, and then you'll see our guard, that's who we identify as his guy, and the tackle will come out and go to that corner right there. And you'll see oftentimes the tailback catch the ball right here with literally two humans on this half of the field a lot of times. A lot of times since we've let these go, this backside ends chasing, there will be two guys. It will be this guy and this guy on this half of the field. Outside the hash, you may not see anybody, you may see one guy. So you'll see us throw it back, and you'll see time after time. The, the, the only embarrassing thing you're going to see in this is sometimes you're going to look and go, that looks like it's going to be a huge play, and we make like 20 yards. And so that's the only bad part about it. But coaching points for the quarterback. It's a really, uh, it looks like a difficult throw for the quarterback, but what we have them do, I'm going to show you on here is, we spread it, like I said, 45 degrees back, okay? And there's one of two ways. Some, if your quarterback's really quick, he can chop his step, stop, and throw it back. I have my quarterback, because he's an athletic kid and he, he prefers to do this, I have him plant that foot, turn, swing his hips around, 
and throw it like that. And it's okay to put some air under the ball because I don't want a zip throw where it's a little off target we drop the ball because it's almost always, it's such a high percentage play and the tailback is always over there by himself. I want to make sure we've got air under it and he can adjust to the ball behind him, in front of him or whatever and catch the football because we know it's going to be a big play. Now that you've seen it drawn up on the board, we're going to go to the video and show you a few of the plays. All right, to the video of our uh, play one of our unstoppable plays, say a simple screen pass. I'm going to show you the uh, uh, this version of it and go over some stuff and then show you the, the end zone view so you can get an idea on the quarterback situation. But here we are with a two-by-two two set. I think I checked to this play because they, they slid the linebackers over this way for some reason. I guess they had seen something. But we do a bad play action fake over here. And if you'll notice, play side, inside receiver, uh, runs a crossing route to the mic. We'll run post to safety here like we drew up on the board. And uh, the tackle came a little too far up the field before he released. But the uh, running back gets behind the guard. And out we go. If you'll look, just like we said, uh, drawing the play up, one guy outside the hash. I think we said maybe two or even two on this half of the field. And then this play looks like it should go for more than 20, 25 yards. But uh, anyway, he, the, the receiver cuts back into a play. We'd miss a block. But we literally block one guy and make about 20 yards. So uh, we'll go to the end zone view, take a look at it. And notice we're inside setting for a sprint out this way. The guys on play side actually do uh, block and try to hold their blocks. Sprint backside, watch my quarterback. I let him turn, like I told you guys on uh, on the board, swing that left hip around, throw it back across, and we put some air under the ball because we know it's going to be open and uh, make sure he catches it. If you if they throw it on a line, a little in front, a little behind, makes it tougher. So let you look at it one more time in uh, full version without stopping it. Sprints to the right, and you can see all the linebackers actually flowing to that side, and uh, there you have a nice little play. And I want to show you this because it's closer to the goal line. We love screens inside the 20, middle of the field, uh, literally even, in, even inside the five-yard line because usually guys are coming a little bit harder on the rush trying to make a big play on a sack. Uh, there's the sprint. There's the crossing route to the mic. There's the post to the safety. Sprint that way. This is a different quarterback, as you can tell, a different year. There's the great version of swinging that hip around. And uh, just getting it out there and finding the end zone. We'll show that one more time. Sprint right. Watch his, watch his left hip. Put a little air on it. Make it a nice, easy catch. And, you know, like I say, we can miss behind, ahead, whatever, and it's all the same. Here's, here it is out of a bunch set one more time. And uh, we're going to uh, just a little different look. We've got a lot of plays, as you'll see, over the different videos out of the bunch set. And uh, this just adds to it. It's a direct line to the end zone right there. So we'll go back and do it once again. Again, we do a bad play fake. Quarterback's there. Swing that left hip around. Lay it up in the air so it's a heat. Back has to wait on it. That's okay. We just want to make sure we complete it because, again, look up and see how many people we have on this half of the field. We got two good blocks right there, and that springs it for a touchdown. Again, great play, really not hard to install. Even if you don't make many yards on it, you're accomplishing uh, holding those defensive linemen up on a screen. They're going to think twice about it, helping out your sprint out package if you have that. And you can really do it out of a 3 by one a 2 by 2 whatever you want. And uh, we'll even show you another version on the screen video.